no idea what this is. It sounds like a Fall Out Boy song. Panic at the Disco! Yes! Dude, this is my jam. This is um, Emperor's New Clothes! Oh my gosh, my emo face in 8th grade. I changed so fast. If it feels good, tastes good. Martin and Yuri would do something like this. Take it back the crown! I'm all dressed up and naked! Oh, oh. Those aren't tattoos, it's like bulging from the skin. I don't know what it is, but it's creeping. This guy's turning into a demon, what? I have no idea who this guy is. Oh. I love this song so much. This is, this is weird. This is weird. No way, this is something I would listen to before a game. This is crazy hype. I just, I'm so happy. Why is the skeleton singing? Oh my god! Oh, so cool, I'm so excited for their new album. This is a miracle when she gets no breakfast. <sighs> Why? What is he like entering hell now? Why is he smiling like that? No, that's a cliffhanger. Don't stop it there. Keep going, please. Whoa, that was so crazy. He has the widest vocal range of like any singer ever. Yay! <laughs> I love that video. Well, I love this song so much. I write since not tragedies. It's a classic. But to hear, no, I can't help but to hear it. Exchanging of words. I love you too. What a beautiful wedding. It's cute. Yes, what a shame. What a shame the poor groom's bride is a whore. See, I know this one. This old panic, though. I'm not even sure if I've even like really listened to the lyrics that much. I just listened to his voice. Then this guy. I actually do like this song a lot better than the other one. I love when Brendan used to wear the top hat. My inner emo is coming out. Rejected. What a snake! The shade. Wow. Boys and rationality. Like almost every single one of their songs are just catchy. I'm smiling so much. That's one of my favorite bands. So do you know what band that was? Um, nope. No, I, I've only heard the song, the second song. No, but they looked like a mix of both of the Smosh guys. This was Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco. No, I'm sorry, Panic at the Disco. They're my favorite band. So this is Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco. I'm gonna write that down, because I need to remember that. So this band's been around for more than 10 years. Really? I'm old. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so along with bands like Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance, they helped popularize a new breed of pop punk in the mid-2000s. Would you say you're a fan of that type of music? Uh, no. I listen to rap, mainly. I enjoy it. I don't seek it out and listen to it all the time. Yes, that's one of my favorite music genres. I like My Chemical Romance. I like Kinda Get the Disco, Fall Out Boy. I am a pop punk kid. They have deep lyrics. The lyrics are actually good. They all like strike a chord within me and all my friends. Why do you think teenagers specifically over time have connected to this type of music? Because teenagers, teenagers are teenagers, weird. No, and they're emotional. And they're weird. Okay, let me take it from a girl. We are emotional people. Teens kind of all have the same mentality. I want to listen to this because I think my parents won't like me listening to this. It's really like, Oh, you know, we don't care what you think. They write songs that resonate and they have to do with like 
teens and like adolescents growing up. It's all geared towards teenagers and people who are going through these rebellious moments and people who are going through like, my parents don't understand. I'm okay with being targeted especially with his music, because it's good. The band is known to slightly change their musical style from album to album. What do you think about bands that continue to evolve versus bands doing the same thing? Taylor Swift. I don't like when they make a huge jump, like from like one genre to another. I like bands who evolve if they're evolving to stay with the fans that they've created and that helped them get famous. It's much better to evolve. I mean, that's lame. Just stay in the same place where you were. I mean, why would you listen to them? A lot of those bands probably get criticism for being a sellout because they're changing to fit, you know, the society that they're in and that's kind of not their message originally. But I think it's survival of the fittest when it comes to music. You change your music so it's what people want to hear. No one will ever get tired of these guys because these guys are constantly changing and they can show up anybody and they can still rock the charts. The musical, like, aspect of everything they do changes over time and it's a fluid thing and people have to evolve with it and I love that part because that shows that you actually have creativity as a musician. So something interesting about the band is that they are no longer together. In fact, there's only one person left. What? Is that why there's only one guy on the cover of the album I have? It's just Brendan Urie. It's just Brendan Urie. He sings, plays all the instruments, and made the entire album on his own. He's an OG. Yeah. He's a real gangster. Mad props to him. He can play the instruments well and then sing like a god. What the hell? Other single artists have done it themselves, but it is impressive. He has all these ideas and all these flows that he can just connect with, and there's no there's no wall, it's all him, you know? Like, there's no one helping him, but also there's no one holding him back. It's impressive of him. I do miss the band. Brendan is still releasing the new album under the Panic at the Disco name, despite the fact that the band is now just him. What do you think of him doing this versus it being a solo album? Um, I think it's kind of weird because obviously, you know, how are you gonna call it Panic at the Disco when it's just the Panic and the at the Disco is all gone? He still has the name Panic at the Disco, and if all the people left, he still is Panic at the Disco. It doesn't really bother me considering that he has gotten new band members to like, back him up in concerts and stuff, like Dalian Weeks I know is one. He's just doing it because everyone already knows Panic, like they already know that name. Gerard Way, he released an album by himself, and if I believe if he had released it under MCR, he probably would have gotten a lot more traction. It's already a brand, why lose it? What if Brendan left and the other band members stayed and still call themselves Panic at the Disco? Do you think they'd have the same kind of success? I think they would, because Everyone in that band was still talented and they still are to this day. I definitely think there would be some fans who are like, Brendan was my favorite, now I'm just gonna stop listening, but they'd still they'd still have fans. The singer is usually the face of the band. It sounds different without that person, so it's like, okay, you can't call it that. No one has the exact same voice as him. No one has the same feel and emotion. It wouldn't work out if they put in a new singer. Brendan makes the band, you know? When you see Panic at the Disco, who do you think of? Brendan Yuri. So final question with this new album here and us talking about it, are you gonna continue to listen to Panic at the Disco? No. Probably not, no. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I'll definitely give the whole album a whirl. Oh yeah, you know, probably right now when I leave, I'm probably gonna go look at it and plug it in on the car and probably just listen to a couple songs. Of course. Oh my gosh, that's not even a question. Yeah, I'm gonna go listen to more Panic at the Disco. I'm becoming more of a fan each day. It's getting there slowly, but Fall voice at the top. That brings us to the end of another episode of Teens React. Do you have a band that you really want us to react to? Let us know in the comments. You want to feel victorious? Go hit the subscribe button below. That's it for me on Teens React, but I'll see you soon on Adults React. Boom. You can't get rid of me.